name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Given a gift to be here, haven't you? Me too. It's a gift to be here. This is my deal I have with God. That every group that I speak to, I ask the Lord, give me whatever sufferings that I need. I've been sick all day today. Give me whatever sufferings I need so that everyone in every group I speak to across the world, every group that's present will make it to heaven. It seems as if Jesus and Mary, they are speeding everything up. That, in other words, the tribulations, the trials will be shorter than you expect. They're going to get us through it quicker than was originally planned. That sounds like the teardrop of Mary, the mercy of Mary pleading with her son. Our Lady usually comes right here to the left side of the altar, and she worships her son in the Eucharist. She comes out at every Mass. I usually see her right here. She comes down to lead us in adoration. Beloved, you know, I've had the host bleed in two of my Masses. I've had the Lord appear in the host more than a hundred times. It's truly something marvelous there in the Eucharist. And so I saw tremendous pain and sorrow in so many of you. It was uh, breaking my heart. I think it's why I get sick a lot because I, I know I'm supposed to offer my sickness for God's people. I asked the Lord, Lord, is there a solution I can share with the good people? So he said to share this with you. First of all, this should be obvious, but just in case you don't know this, the Virgin Mother has been calling us at Mechagori and many other places to try to pray all four rosaries every day. You don't have to, it's not a canon law. But if you can, pray in what you can, but pray more. The rosary has incredible graces. What did Our Lady say to Lucia from Fatima, who's on her way to becoming a saint now? that he's given a new efficacy to the rosary, so that there's nothing, no miracle, God will not work for you through the rosary, including, she said, the stopping of wars. The rosary, beloved, is all powerful, and I'm sensing the presence of the Luciferian spirit right now. We're gonna say the unit prayer in just a moment. He doesn't like what I'm sharing with you right now. The rosary crushes his big fat head. Amen? I said, everyone take out your rosaries. When I said that, that demon and that man reacted like I've never seen in my life. He actually changed appearance. He morphed in front of us into an animal. It was unbelievable. When we pulled out our rosaries, the victory was already ours. Amen? The rosary. And beloved, this is our powerful gift. It's greater than a nuclear bomb. Just ask the priests who were in that rectory right in Japan when the bomb fell. The only ones who survived were these men who prayed the rosary every day. Amen. It's a call now to renew your devotion to the rosary. It's for every priest and every lay person. This is the lifeline with what's coming real soon. It's the lifeline. It's more than that. Mary will give you everything you need and in your living room, food will multiply in front of your eyes. I've seen it happen. It will multiply in front of you. All you need will be given to you. Any food, any medicine, any health, any joy. God will give you all that you need to be completely protected and you'll be happy as well. I declare to you today, a thousand may fall to your left and 10,000 will fall to your right, but you it will never approach. Amen? That's the Holy Psalms, right? Psalm 91, through the Virgin Maria, that psalm is actualized. Amen? I have news for you, Mary is Psalm 91. Amen? So this is a call to you, pray your Holy Rosary. And when things get tough again, I believe there's gonna be another shutdown of everything, including the churches. I wanna tell you this, what you told me, Mama said, you pray your Rosary when everything goes down. Mama will come into your houses, some of you will see her. She'll be in your homes, 
She will bring the spiritual presence of the Eucharist into your home and into your heart. It will be a spiritual communion like you've never had before. So you can't lose with Mama Mary. You cannot lose. Her middle name is Victoria. The Lord said to share this with you. This might sound hard, but it's not. I was begging him to show me as I was giving you a communion. What can I give your people, Lord? They're dying. He says to remind you of another ancient truth of the Holy Catholic Church, the only church God founded. It's this. We need silent prayer every day. Not just monks or priests. Lay people too. Set aside time every day for quiet, silent prayer. I would say 30 minutes, minimum, 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 30 minutes. That was Jesus's, that was his secret. What does the Bible say? He drank from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he lifted up his head. Amen? What is the stream by the wayside? That silent prayer where the Holy Spirit flows into you like living water. Amen? You must drink from the stream by the wayside. Satan will not win. He doesn't even know how to pray. We must pray. Pray with a rosary and pray and pray.